it's Riley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for September 2024. So on September 9th, we have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, re-entering his rulership in Virgo energy. So of course, we had Mercury go retrograde at four degrees in this Virgo energy. He crept back into the Leo energy where it gave us a little bit of time to reflect on matters of the heart, where it gave us time to reflect on new ideas, new inspirations that are heart motivated, really triggering new inspirations, new passions for us to now pursue. Although we've been in a reflective time, again, we are in a closure period, really reflecting upon what went awry, what we've all grown, where it is that we have to make some changes, some adjustments. Again, Virgo season, it's all about improvement. We have had an interesting perspective shift, an interesting shift of emotion as well. And now with Mercury re-entering Virgo energy, we get to kind of see things from a much clearer lens. Now keep in mind, Mercury will not be at the fifth degree of Virgo energy until the 11th. And that is when we kind of clear the post retrograde fog and we move into new foreign territory. Because we are still retracing our steps in this Virgo energy, there's a little bit of a flashback. We're still kind of in evaluation mode. We're still kind of taking stock, taking inventory of all that has transpired, where it is that new information coming in has the ability to not only shift our perspective and our understanding, but helps us to release a lot of emotions as well. So we in this Virgo energy are analyzing, we're critiquing, we're using discernment, we're focused on the problems in order for us to fix them. We are coming up with a plan, with a strategy. Now, Mercury in this Virgo energy, because it is his rulership, again, what we focus on in our mental plane is essentially what we end up manifesting here in the physical realm. So we have to be very cautiously aware of our inner dialogue, of what we're pouring our time, energy, and attention into. And where it is that, again, we have to kind of analyze old situations, old circumstances from this new perspective, there's going to be some aha moments definitely popping off over the course of the next couple of days, especially once the 11th come and we actually get free and clear of that post retrograde fog. So Mercury in this Virgo energy, we're focused on the smaller details. We're very detail oriented. We're looking for, again, clarity, logic, practicality in a lot of our, let's call them thought processes, analyzing, if you will, where it is that we're coming from, where it is that we're at, and where it is that we would like to go from here. Although we probably won't receive that amount of clarity, that vision, if you will, until the post retrograde shadow period actually clears. So again, if you have all of your e-guides available, you're going to want to flip back to about a month, month and a half ago, we had Mercury first First enter this Virgo energy and like I said we only got four degrees in it before we retrograded back into that Leo energy all of those zodiac e-guides that I create are for you to capture what's going on when these energy shifts actually take place because like we're in right now, we're re-entering into this Virgo energy. It would be nice to know what topics and themes we're consuming our time, our energy, our efforts when Mercury first entered this Virgo energy. There's a flashback to that particular time because we've experienced so much, because we've processed so much, because we've identified the areas of concern from uh, essentially the beginning of Mercury's retrograde up until now, we have a totally different point of view. Therefore, new aha moments are going to pop off. New epiphanies are going to kind of pop off in order for us to paint a more detailed picture from some of the confusion that we've been sitting in for, again, last three weeks, but technically we're talking like a month and a half, taking us back to essentially, you could probably look at July 16th. That's when we first entered into the pre-retrograde shadow period. Of course, we were in Leo energy at that particular point in time. We sailed through those last degrees of Leo. We entered into that Virgo energy. We got four degrees and then we backtracked. So again, if you need to take a listen to to the September energy forecast to really understand how this particular energy shift is going to help us definitely take a listen, bust out your Virgo season e-guide, capture what's going on for you right now. 
what you're kind of reevaluating in comparison and contrast to where it is that you were confused just a couple of weeks ago. Matters of the heart have changed. Therefore, our inner realm understanding and perspective has changed. And now we have to put all of the pieces together to illuminate what we're closing the door upon, what we're going to make some adjustments and improvements to in order for us to be in alignment with new goal, new vision, new dream. Take a listen to your zodiac forecast for the month of September, your sun, your moon, your rising. That's going to indicate where it is that this particular energy has been trying to illuminate new aha moments, new epiphanies to you, what area of your life is impacted the most and where it is that improvements and adjustments need to be made. So with Mercury moving through this Virgo energy, again, it's an earth sign ruled over by the mental plane. So we're going to take a good look at where it is that we're at in our physical realm. Of course, Mercury ruling over this whole entire Virgo season as he kind of clears his post retrograde shadow period on the 11th. He is going to be fully optimized up to speed, up to clarity up to snuff, so to speak, and we will definitely be starting to deal with new topics and new themes as we enter into that fifth degree. 